What's up, everybody? It's your boy Review. We're back here again, and today we're going to be talking about again on the topic of hackers. Now, I'm kind of a little bit hesitant to call it hacking or call them hackers because mainly the majority of their schemes is just phishing emails, phishing websites, uh, talking in game chat, and stuff like that. Now, before we start the video. I'm going to just go ahead and give a half apology out to CompTOS and Summoner's War. I was a little bit harsh on them in the hacked video, mainly because I was really upset since uh, many of my friends had already been getting hacked. And I know in the past that their customer service was not really handling these hacked situations very well. But they uh, were actually managing to get most of the accounts back uh, for my guildmates and for other people like in Absolute Void and Oblivion. They were absolutely uh, actually able to get their accounts back within 24 hours, you know, 24 to 48 hours, which is pretty impressive. I mean, the stories that I hear, the horror stories is that it takes like a week. So I wasn't really expecting the best uh, out of the CompTIA support team, but I think they kind of know that, hey, uh, if we kind of fluffed up here and we definitely need to get these accounts back ASAP. So I'm sure they were working overtime on doing that. Now, of course, they're still at fault for not buffing their security. Now, of course, they're probably working on it right now. And you're probably wondering like, hey, Reefy, you know, this is with Hive. This this is a problem with Hive, not with CompTOS, not with Summoner's War. Well, I mean, if you just do a little bit of research, you'll check. I mean, this is from my understanding. Maybe I'm wrong. Cor correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, according to this, CompTOS is the admin of with Hive. So it's not like they're using this specifically to, you know, get their game up on a website. They're actually they their website is uh, hosted or like registered by Gabia, which is a Korean company, and they use that to have their game website, which uh, to my understanding is with Hive. So here's the details if you guys want to check that out. Of course, you can just go to any type of search up on Google like uh, who is or something like that or register.com. And you could just look up the details right there. But to my understanding, CompTOS actually does have control over with Hive. And maybe they could buff the security on that one. That would be great. Two-step verification wouldn't solve everything. But it would fix a lot of problems because if people want to change account information, they can have it text to their phone number. And in order to hack you know, two-step verification with a phone number, you would need a lot more complicated procedures. A lot more. So at least it would protect a majority of the ones. Now, I want to talk about phishing uh, scams. Now, I'm pulling up this email right here. And of course, I'm going to uh, censor out the appropriate stuff. And you'll notice, hey, it says no reply at withhive.com. That looks legit. And you'll look over here where it says amazonses.com. A lot of people, including uh, one person on my Facebook group, was like, well, this is this is sketchy. You know, I'm not going to click this. This is really sketchy. Now, of course, I'm not going to say it's not because, I mean, it looks sketchy. But if we click via, it's going to pop up the help tab, of course. And it's going to say and it's, it's going to explain or exp explain. It's going to explain basically the sender's name and everything like that and the domain name. So if we look up AmazonSES.com, it's basically just Amazon's web service. So I don't really think there's anything to worry about there, guys. Um, but it won't matter because this is where we go to our next step. If you ever do receive an email like this and you do feel threatened and you feel like, hey, I need to change my account details, you never, ever, this is good practice in general for uh, online, never click the link directly that's provided for you. If you know the website, you just go over, type it in, boom, 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 and you go to the website directly yourself. Always practice this, guys, because let's say that they make a very con uh, convincing phishing email and you click the link, then they got you. They got you in their little trap and you're going to give away your account details and you might lose your account. But if it is a phishing email and they're like, hey, send us your account information, or like, oh, you know, you want to reset your password, but you go to the, the website directly, then, you know, it's it's not so much a problem because, oh, you went to the website directly. Let's say you do change your account details. Now you actually legitimately changed your details. So that's a big point. Now, another point is people in game. Now, this is another part where CompTOS is partially at fault, but I don't blame them, honestly, because I think they've really got a serious problem with the chat system, and I don't think they know how to fix it. I honestly, I don't, I wouldn't know how to really fix it. 
how do you how do you fix the chat problem? If you guys don't notice already, there's so much spam in chat. There's so much spam. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, I think uh, I think there could be a few solutions. Maybe if they uh, made it so you can't copy and paste messages, but that would that would not really fix anything. It would just make them type longer, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example right here. Another guildmate of mine actually got hacked. So Scarlet here, her account got hacked, uh, and I'm just using her as an example because this is what the hackers are doing now, and I need to show you guys uh, evidence of what they do. So she got hacked, and immediately. Uh, she told us immediately, but her account started talking in guild chat. And what did she say? LOL, WTF. I've seen a link on chat and thought that was another bullshit scam. I tried it and it actually got some crystals. It's something about the homunculus pre-registration. Really? Really? You're, you're talking about a very sketchy with Hive uh, link right here with Hive. You know, I'm not going to read it out, but with Hive dot a bunch of like characters slash events you're telling me that that link is legit how about how about we go ahead and enter that in yeah let's i mean we're not gonna obviously we're not gonna enter in information but like that's just that's just absolutely let's, let's hold on let me see okay and how much do you guys want to bet it's going to ask me for my account information which brings up another great uh point <laughs> okay <laughs> okay yeah i mean i mean it's it's uh it's doing its job can i okay well it's not going to let me i guess my uh i guess my my computer i i, I up my security uh on my computer it's not going to let me so uh that brings up a very good point if you go to a website that's supposedly with hive you'll notice that CompTOS never asks for your information. They never ask for it. If you go to the event page, uh, uh, non-logged in, if you're not logged in, you can still view all of the event pages, the forums. You can view everything. They do not ask for your information. So if they're like, hey, view this event, sign up for this, blah, 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 that's not in-game, then you know that's, that's, uh, that's not legit, right? Okay, so now that we can kind of understand what these uh, scammers are trying to do, you know, they're trying to get to you through your friends and guildmates. They're trying to get you through malicious links. They're trying to get you through phishing emails. I mean, basically, these guys are some low-class losers, honestly. Like, I mean, I hate to just put that out there, but there's some low-class losers. Like, these are almost as bad as the Indian or Nigerian scammers. They have no heart to who they're scamming, and I, I feel like they really don't feel like they're doing anything wrong. So... To prevent these assholes from scamming us, what can we do? Now, I personally did this and it worked out very well. If you go to a random password generator, you can actually select the password link. You can, you could really, I mean, like, oh my gosh, you could, <laughs> unbelievable. That's how strong it is. Unbelievable. But honestly, anything above 16 works. You know, I, I would recommend anywhere from 20 to 30 characters. Uh, you just enter it in, let's say 26 characters. You include symbols, of course, letters, you know, lowercase and uppercase. You can include similar characters uh, and or exclude similar characters. That, I mean, that works as well. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Or you can exclude ambiguous characters. I like to keep it, uh, I like to keep it client side. So that way it's not sent over the internet, just in case, like a, an extra precautionary thing. And then basically you just generate a random password and boom, you got yourself a complicated password and right there. And then you're probably wondering like, hey, I mean, I got this weird complicated password. How am I supposed to log in with this type of stuff if I log out quite often? Uh, how am I supposed to remember it if I want to change my account details? I can't just send in a, a reset password over and over and over. And that's that's completely fine if you just take this and put it into one of your notepads. That works. I do that, you know, just put it into some folder not necessarily a notepad, but like a Word document, folder, anything. Or you can just copy and paste this and put it somewhere in the very, very, very back of your files. And and, and this is kind of going be above and beyond. So now, how do you log into your accounts on a regular basis? So you come over here and you're going to want to link Facebook or, or Google+, Plus, but mainly as Facebook. Now you'll notice I'm logged in as Reefy, right? So I can actually just log in as Reefy because I've already linked my Facebook to the email that's registered with this account. And boom, bada bing, we've got 
our Facebook links. And that's actually, it allows you to log into the game through Facebook. You just click it, you say, okay, it's already registered with Summoner's War, and boom, you're logged in. Now, you know, you're probably thinking like, okay, what's the difference between that? They're just gonna hack your Facebook password. Not exactly. If someone logs in from a different location or from a different IP address, it actually, or like a different location, so it has to be like, oh, they're in a different state. It asks you for specific questions. It'll be like, okay, what was your mother's maiden name? What school did you go to? You know, what was your first pet? You know, that kind of stuff. And I've had actually had problems with that. People would send me Facebook login info for summons, and I can't get onto their account because it's like asking me security questions. I'm like, I can't get in. This is freaking awesome. This is perfect. So Facebook is actually a good way to do it. Of course, I need to double check and make sure like I'm going to like pop on some, uh, some uh, what's it called? A VPN, a virtual proxy network that changes my location. And I want to try that out, of course, and see if it asks, asks me security questions. But I can't right now. I don't have one on me. So leaking your Facebook could be a very, very smart step to prevent people from logging in from different locations and stuff like that, assuming that they get into your account. One last thing that I need to really mention about the password and just let it sink in. The password resets that CompTOS give you are not strong enough. A a, a brute force script, I mean, I've, I've made a brute force script, of course, um, in classes that I've taken, but like those ones are not as complicated as people that actually know what they're doing. So those ones are even more impressive. Those ones would probably be able to get it in less than a second. If on the CompTOS reset passwords, I'd be able to get it like boom, instantly. It'd be instantaneous. Uh, of course, there might be a little bit of lag because they'd have to constantly refresh the page and try to log in. Uh, but there is no amount to how many times you can log in or attempt to log in, which is another thing that CompTOS needs to fix. Um, just, you know, putting that out there, CompTOS, if you watch this video, that's a priority. You know, brute force probably is the minority of the people that are actually stealing this account information, but you never know. You know, you got to take all security measures. And with an, with a game like this, you're probably thinking, it's just a game, you know, calm down, Reef, you're being overdramatic. People put thousands of dollars into this. I mean, how would it feel? I mean, if you if you watch Claytano's video, he was really upset. And I you could see it in his face, in his eyes. He was really upset. And I would be too. I'd be more upset than him, honestly, because you spend you spent years on this game, years, and you, you spend a lot of money on the game. It's it's more than just a game at that point. It's It's like a real investment of your time of your money of of your actual attention because you're spending so much time trying to build teams and stuff like that it, it is a real thing it's a deal a big deal all right so that's basically my suggestions on how to prevent getting hacked uh, hopefully you guys follow these steps and don't lose your account again i always suggest at least purchasing a little small five dollar pack or a three dollar pack or something to have proof that you purchased or that you have purchased on your account because that's proof that you own the account. So you can send it into CompTOS and then you will get your account back if you ever get hacked. I think they only do this for you once. They might do it for you more times. I've never gotten my account hacked, knock on wood. Uh, but I wouldn't really know. You might need to ask Claytano on that. All right, guys. I hope this helps. Um, you know, I want to put pressure onto CompTOS because I want them to fix this. This needs to be top priority. Uh, you know, the new, like the new info and the, or I mean, the new update is absolutely amazing. I love them for it. This is absolutely awesome, and I'm really excited about this game right now. Like, I'm, this is so much new content for us. But at the in the time, like at the same time, this security issue is a big deal and. Uh, I'm going to keep, you know, spreading it around. You know, I don't care if people are going to call me a little fucking gossip girl or they're going to call me over dramatic or some shit like that. You know, just you wait, just you fucking wait until you get hacked and then you'll realize, hey, maybe this really is a big deal. You know, uh, I should have listened when everyone was talking about getting hacked early on last year. I kind of brushed off my shoulder like, oh, you know, send your information out to weird websites. But it's it's a bigger deal than that. It, it goes beyond that. It's up to CompTOS to fix those issues it's not up to the player to not get scammed it's that's that's basically blaming the rape victim right there okay all right guys uh i will see you all next time stay tuned for toa hard rush we'll be streaming that uh i'm not sure if i'll do it on youtube or twitch if you guys actually have an input on that leave it in the comments and i'll count up uh how many you guys vote on that and or i'll leave a card up at the top right either one 
So make sure you check that, and I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you all later.